Hey Taurus, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be your reading. It's going to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Taurus watching, so just keep that in mind. Feel free to check out your other placements for more messages. Sometimes those can resonate more. The situation that I talk about today could have already happened, be currently happening, or happen in the near future because time is fluid. And the roles could be reversed. So I could be talking about you, Taurus, or the other person. Um, so just flip the roles as needed. So, Spirit, please, what does Taurus need to know? Now, I'm trying to keep these readings general, but I will talk about whatever Spirit wants to talk about. So it could be a relationship reading, a reading about job, finances, anything like that. So let's see what's in store today. Spirit, what does Taurus need to know? Taurus need to know, I want that one. Mountain, so there are obstacles. A mountain you have to climb, um, a way through a mountain, through an obstacle. Anything else for Taurus? That is way too many, but I'll take anxiety. Actually, I'll just take them all, why not? I was gonna put them back, but then I felt like I should just keep them. Okay, so I have mountain anxiety. So some of you could be worried about this obstacle in your way. I have happy family, could be dealing with some sort of family situation. The world, beautiful energy, kind of like the world is your oyster there and patience. Interesting, so a lot of you could be trying to overcome an obstacle, something that could affect family or commitment here, stability with the four, very similar to the four of wands energy here. I do wanna read what the world is all about. I'm gonna put this over here. And let's see what the world is all about. For Taurus. Expansion opening up. This card is reminding you to expand your vision and contemplate some much broader options. The world is wide, so there's a lot out there to consider. This could specifically be referring to creating or expanding to a more global network through the internet or social marketing, or this card's letting you know you have unlimited resources available and now is the time to think big. As they say, the world is your oyster, so get ready to gobble it up. So I feel like whatever obstacle you're a little bit worried or stressed about, I think it has to do with wanting to go after something big. Something that could be related to your family life or towards a relationship that's leading towards family. And then I have patience here, so um, it could be that you just need to um, let go and kind of allow things to happen. So for patients, um, I'm getting here, relax and let go of the single-minded des single minded desperation that's been driving you. Don't try to force your will on only one option. When you think there's only one solution to satisfy your need or make you happy, you're blocking many other potential solutions from coming your way. Be flexible, be patient, open, and creative interesting so almost like don't block yourself in taurus to whatever decision um you need to make whatever um opportunity you want to go after with think big of the world here so let's see what the tarot has to say messages for taurus please sun moon rising and venus messages for taurus what does Taurus? I keep seeing the Emperor. What does Taurus need to know? Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or just coming into your power this month. Tell me more for Taurus. So let's see. I'm doing an eight card spread, so we'll see how this goes. Sometimes I clarify with a different deck, but for some reason I love this deck so much in particular that I've just been using it. So we'll see what happens. Also, I've been. Ooh, Oh my gosh two of cups fell out okay 
So this is a partnership of some sort, a union of some sort. Um, sometimes it could be a love union, but it could also be someone you're very close to, someone that mirrors you. Um, this could be a family member, a friend, a business partner, etc. We will clarify all of these. Um, huge thank you to everyone who has commented, shared, subscribed, or liked the videos recently. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments. Um, five of cups just fell out. Interesting. Um, so, you know, thank you so much everyone who has participated in the channel and supported the channel. Um, I've gotten some questions about personal readings. I, at the moment, don't do personal readings. Queen of Wands here. Um, because honestly, I don't have the time to dedicate to personal readings like I would like. So I found kind of a compromise. I am doing extended readings now. Um, ooh, Ace of Wands. Love that energy. Definitely some action here. Some of you are definitely thinking action. All right. So, so far I'm seeing a union of some sort, um, some sort of regret, uh, sadness here. I feel like this has to do with anxiety, this uh, or a card in the top. And then I see Queen of Wands and Ace of Wands. So this, this is definitely action, a spark of a new beginning here. Um, but I feel like someone's holding back or kind of protecting. Uh, maybe you're saving your money a lot right now, being very frugal right now for some reason. Queen of Pentacles. All right. So you're focused on stability here. Um, some of you, this is a wife or mother or father or husband because gender is not it's not the focus here's more the energy but queen of pentacles she is stable um financially secure dedicated loyal um usually she's um could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn so this could be you for uh taurus um but more than anything i feel like if you're not in this mindset right now or in that in this position right now that's like where you want to go to that's the think big that i see here i feel like maybe finances are an obstacle for a big dream that you might have taurus um i have another two here with the two of swords this is about being stuck in a decision i feel like some of you are contemplating a move or a decision and you're a little bit stuck right now unable to decide kind of in your head about something here Probably because this think big, um, going after something huge could change a lot for you. And so those are not always the easy, easy decisions to make. Whoa, that one wanted to come out. The Fool, definitely taking a leap of faith here with The Fool. This is all about going on a new journey, a new path here. I love this energy right under the Ace of Wands. I'm really getting that you're gonna go for something. It's very clear to me. So let's start clarifying here. Tell me about this, whoa, hold on. Tell me about this Two of Cups, please, for Taurus. What's this Two of Cups about? I'm trying to see if this is um, like romantic or, all right, Knight of Pentacles. So it doesn't technically have to be romantic, but there's a slow, offer coming your way that will provide stability, um, security, and opportunity is what I'm getting here. Under the deck, I have the eight, uh, the sun. Sorry, I was going to say something else. I have the sun. So this offer is going to make you very happy. Can I get one more, please? Whoa. Can I get, oh no, I bet my card. Can I get one more for the two of cups and the knight of pentacles? For some of you, this is a financial offer or something related to work because I got the Eight of Pentacles here. So some of you are definitely getting a job opportunity or just an offer from someone that wants to work on things too, if this is a romantic offer, because um, I do have happy family here. And there I have the Nine of Swords. So something about this offer is worrying to you or stressing you. Um, feel like this is where this stuck energy is coming from with the two of swords down here tell me about this five of cups please for taurus what is this all about five of cups What's five of cups about for taurus Ooh, the devil so there's a little bit of um 
negative energy here I'm getting. Um, this is a sign of Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone with Capricorn in their chart. But I'm getting um, sadness due to the feelings of being trapped or stuck. Um, I'm getting that this is probably an obstacle for you. Um, the devil could mean um, giving into temptation, um, being impulsive, um, being kind of like a slave to your desires. So this is someone that um, acts before thinking and kind of like it's, it's just never the best choice. Um, so like, for example, you might have someone that might drink a little bit too much or um, someone who um, is tempted to fall under certain addictions or something like that. But also with the devil, I always think of trapped, mental entrapment, because through our temptations or our being slave to our desires, we can chain ourselves without meaning to. Um, but this chain is imaginary. These two people here in this picture could take this chain off at any time. But I feel like you're so in your emotions about this that you haven't done that or haven't been able to do that just yet. Um, I feel like with the star at the bottom of the deck, some of you um, are trying to keep your faith here. So tell me more about, whoa. Ace of Pentacles just came out. Tell me more about the devil and the five of cups, please. More about the devil in the five of okay. So there's the emperor. I saw the emperor while I was shuffling. Sign of Aries here. Um, and then the high priestess. So this is all about using your intuition here to take back your power. I feel like a lot of you want to cut out this energy of feeling regretful or sad or dejected. Um, some of you want to kind of take them take matters into your own hands here. It's like you're kind of tired of being in this powerless energy. And you want to now take action and change the situation for yourself is what I'm getting. Ten of swords on the deck. So definitely ending of a cycle here to move forward, um, which makes perfect sense with the fool. So this is all about something new here with the fool. Tell me about the queen of wands for Taurus. Queen of wands takes action. Um, she is brave. She is um, not shy to go after what she wants. Um, she is a doer. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. I want that one. Five of Wands. So again, feeling like um, Five of Wands is all about conflict, um, not seeing eye to eye, not not making any progress um, because everybody's so busy doing their own thing and not seeing eye to eye that nothing's getting done here. Um, it's also about competition. So you could be um, going after a dream or an opportunity and there might be a little bit of competition. I have the world. So again, this feeling of new, new cycle, new way of doing things. And I have the six of wands here. So I feel like you're going to be successful. You're going to get recognition and I have the star into the deck again. So I definitely feel like not giving up is very important here. I wouldn't be surprised if the nine of wands came up uh, sometime during your reading because that's the energy that I feel. Tell me about this Ace of Wands, please, for Taurus. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Taurus, please. This Ace of Wands. What's this new beginning? This is like a passionate spark. So something that you're passionate about, something that you've really desired. It's like you want, you, it, it inspires you to go after something, right? And make that new, the steps towards something new. Nine of Pentacles, beautiful. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, security, stability. Financial, um, she's financially secure because she's worked for everything that she has. Um, she has done it all on her own as well with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, she's self-reliant and independent. So let's see, some of you could be manifesting a beginning for yourself where you re can rely on yourself or where you provide for your family. Um, I have the page of swords that flipped out. Some of you have been doing research on this opportunity, on this endeavor, um, kind of looking for information, having conversations to kind of get to the bottom of something here. Um, I really am getting curiosity. There's been a curiosity here. If this is about a romantic gesture, like someone 
excuse me, wanting to make this offer with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Two of Cups, then what I'm getting with the Page of Swords is they've been watching you, Taurus. Um, they're watching you do your thing and they want to approach you. They want in on that. I'm getting that they want success and to start something new. But for the rest of you that this is an opportunity in terms of work, I definitely feel like you've been doing your research. Um, again, with the Ten of Swords, putting an end to a cycle. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. I feel like a lot of you have either been holding back emotionally or if this is financial, this is you saving all of your pennies for, for something. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. What's this about? Let's get some clarity on this Four of Pentacles, please. Oh, I want that one. Eight of Swords. Again, with being in your head, having anxiety here. Eight of Swords, again, feeling trapped, feeling like you can't move forward or back here, not seeing a way out, even though there is a path forward. So maybe you just haven't been, wow. And Magician, what beautiful energy here with the Magician. I feel like a lot of you want to manifest a way out of this kind of energy um, I feel like you have the tools at your disposal. I just think you haven't made a decision yet to go forward on this. Um, I feel like if this is a romantic relationship here, someone is manifesting um, a way out of either... What I'm getting is someone's manifesting trying to get to you. I feel like you're very protective of yourself, of your heart, and it's a little difficult to get to you. Um, but there's attraction here with the Queen of Wands and someone definitely wants to take action, even if it's going to cause a little bit of conflict here. Um, but it's like they want to take this, these walls that you've used to, to like surround yourself with, these mental um, swords here that you have. I feel like they want to break those down. What's at the bottom of the deck? Knight of Wands, definitely someone wanting to make an offer. For those of you that are going after an opportunity, it's like you definitely want to go for it. Um, Knight of Wands is a little impulsive though. So with patience here, I feel like Spirit is saying, uh, whatever you do, take your time to really think it through. Yeah, I have um, Seven of Cups here. You know, don't let your, your imagination get away with you is what I'm saying, I'm seeing here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. What's this Queen of Pentacles? Whoa, that was very lazy. What is this Queen of Pentacles about? For Taurus? Stability, security, commitment. I feel like whatever this is, um, some of you, it's affecting your family or you want a stable home. Wow, I, I thought I was taking one, I'm taking two. There's the world again and the two of wands. Definitely, I feel like with a new cycle, you feel like you can have potential for stability, security, and commitment. I feel like you're you're doing, you're completing something here that is going to open doors for you um, with the world. Um, this is all about getting closure on a situation here as well. You're, you're closing everything, all the doors you need to close to now walk into this new one is what I'm getting. With the Two of Wands, it's all about looking out at the possibilities. And notice that he's holding the world in his hand. So definitely goes with this world card here. Um, I definitely get that a lot of you are on a new journey that's going to be more stable. Um, a new cycle in your life that's going to provide more stability for you. Um, for others of you, I feel like the ending of a relationship or the ending of a cycle of a relationship has opened the door for possibilities for something new here with the Fool. I have the Cherry under the deck. Could be a Cancer that you're dealing with. Um, or it could be that some of you are traveling, moving somewhere, um, having to having someone at a distance from you as well. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Oh, wow. Look what came out. Nine of Wands. Wasn't I talking about the Nine of Wands earlier? Definitely someone that has been through a battle um, and is a little bit tired, but they're not giving up. Nine of Wands does not give up. He is a warrior. Um, I feel like a lot of you are also have put up walls, are trying to protect yourselves here. Um, and that's why you haven't made a decision. Tell me about the Nine of Wands and the Two of Swords, please. Tell me about this Nine of Wands and Two of Swords, please.
feel like I don't want to take a card just yet. Usually. Okay, I want that one. Wow. Four of Wands goes perfectly with Happy Family. So I love how that we're getting confirmation from the Oracle card. So this is all about a stable home, buying a home, moving into a home, stability at home, a happy family, happy family life. Um, there's something to do here where um, I feel like you are protecting yourself or protecting your family. Um, you can't decide if you want this or how to get to this is what I'm getting. I feel like for there to be stability in your home, something has to change. For others of you that this is a love relationship, I feel like this person once again wants to get to your wants to get to you, but you've put up barriers around your heart, around yourself, walls, right? You're stuck in your head about starting something with someone, about getting to this point, but this is what they want. For a lot of you, you don't think it's the right time with patience up there. Yeah, I have seven of wands. Again, protecting what's yours, defending what's yours. Tell me about the fool. What is this fool about? For Taurus. Ten of wands. Love it. Setting down a burden, putting down a weight of whether it's emotional whether it's physical or a stress that's been weighing down um, on you, I feel like you're going to have to set that down in order to go on this new journey here. We have Temperance under the deck, sign of Sagittarius, and very similar to this Patience card. Um, they're both angels. One's holding a clock, but the other one um, is all about moder moderation, balance, and patience. So I love that, that that's here, almost reminding you that the finish line is almost here, Taurus is what I'm getting. Um, you have to be patient and think things through. Um, you know, don't be so stressed about this obstacle because I feel like going after this opportunity is actually going to be good for you. So let me get one more card and I'm going to wrap this up and then I'll talk about what I'm going to get into in the extended. Tell me more about this nine of wands, please, for Taurus. What's this nine of wands about for Taurus? There's the nine of swords again. Yeah, I feel like some of you need to really cut this out. This energy needs to end. This being stressed, being worried, being anxious, being burdened. You need to set down this burden. Um, you need to stop thinking so hard about something is what I'm getting as well. Also, I'm getting um, with the ten of wands and the nine of... Actually, before I say that, let me look at the bottom of the deck. Okay, two of pentacles. Yeah, some of you I think are um, need to think about your options here. I have the chariot behind there. I was just curious to see what's in there. Before you move forward here, I feel like you really have to weigh your options. Remember with the, was it the world or patience? It's not about one option all the time. So keep your options open is what I'm getting. And I feel like because some of you, I feel like your intuition is telling you something and you can't ignore your intuition. You have to follow your gut um, so that you don't make a mistake. And I feel like Spirit's saying, take your time with this decision, um, but follow your heart, follow your intuition. If this is someone new coming into your life that's offering you love, I feel like you need to really stop protecting yourself so much. Follow your intuition, follow your gut. Um, think about the decision, but don't, don't think about it so much that you miss an opportunity. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care.